So today we are down at a beautiful spot called Babacum and we've come down here to do a dive with a difference. So we're going to be going out and doing an underwater litter pick. Now this spot is really, really popular with tourists in summer, so it's quite likely that we might find some rubbish. And the awesome thing about getting out and doing something like this is that you don't only get to dive and see incredible wildlife, but you also get to dive with a purpose. Whilst small-scale underwater litter picking can be suitable for divers of all levels, there are some important things to remember. When it comes to choosing a spot to do your litter pick, choose a site that you are already familiar with, or do a survey dive prior so that you know what to expect. A mesh bag is useful to store any litter you find. You can keep it rolled up in a pocket and then don't have to worry about it until you need it. Any sharp objects you come across should be kept in a sealed container, and it's a good idea to wear durable gloves for this reason. You'll also need a knife or cutting tool. This is both for your own safety and to help remove anything that has become tangled. If you come across anything substantial, make a note of its location and report it to a more specialist diver team or organisation. Serious cleans involving heavy ghost gear often require lift bags and specialist training. It's also important to be wary of task fixation. Don't become so consumed trying to untangle a bit of fishing line that you forget to keep an eye on your bottom time, pressure gauge or depth. Review BZAC's safe diving guide and don't forget to enjoy yourself and take time to notice the life around you. After all, this is the reason you're doing it. Litter picks, both on land and underwater, are a great way to help our oceans, but more needs to be done to solve the problem at its source. On this dive, we were pleasantly surprised to not come across too much litter. However, the unfortunate fact is that every piece of rubbish can be potentially harmful to our oceans. And when it comes to issues like ocean plastics, small amounts really do add up. As we surfaced from our dive, we came across a Coke can floating on the surface. And then, an example of why litter picks are so important, a grey seal. These beautiful animals are the UK's largest carnivore, but unfortunately, they are often becoming entangled in litter or discarded fishing gear. Luckily, this one seemed to be having a great time. Once back on dry land, we took a look at what we had found. So as you can see, we found lots of different bits and pieces of litter here, from a Walker's crisp packet to a Coke can, to even a chair leg. And although this might not seem like much, it really can have a big impact on wildlife. So why not on your next dive, get your club together, get your friends together, get out there. <laughs> Hi and organise a diving litter pick, it really can make the biggest difference for wildlife.